my people of the internet, and in today's video, I will be telling you a story. A true story of something that happened to me. That's right, in this story, I will be talking about the time I accidentally went into a gay bar. Yeah, totally, accidentally. Now this story starts off, I really wanted to take a trip somewhere, but I didn't have much money. And I decided when I was 18, that I would go to Montreal which is a really French city in Canada. And I decided to go there because I had a dream of being a professional poker player. That's right. And I thought if I went there with like $500 to like a really big casino, that I would make it big in my first night and then I'd keep going back there and eventually I would be a professional poker player. That's right. My budget was $500 and I thought that was enough to make it. And like, I was living at my dad's place at the time and I was like, I really just want to leave this place. I really want to make a better life for myself. And I just hopped on a bus and I went by myself with no plans, nowhere to stay or anything. And I felt like such a badass rebelling against authority, not telling anybody where I was going and just taking off, it felt like, exhilarating like it was an exciting it gave me like an adrenaline rush i guess that's pretty sad but it did now the bus ride took a while to get there and as soon as i got there i decided to take a cab right to the casino with the only 500 dollars i have with nowhere to stay with no plans at all just hoping that i make it big in the first night now I got there and surprisingly I was doing good at first, but then I stayed there for such a long time. I must have stayed there playing 24 hours straight. Now there was times I was up a thousand dollars, times I was down five hundred dollars, but at the end of it, I lost it all. And at this point I was so upset because I realize I have nothing left. What am I going to do? I'm stuck in a strange city and I'm gonna be a homeless bum begging for money. And like my plans were to be a professional poker player, to make it big, to be rich, to have a lot of money and all that stuff. But it wasn't going to happen. I did end up meeting this guy while I was playing there and he seemed pretty cool. And as I was leaving, he kind of came over, he started saying hi or something, and he's like, oh, he, like, he was giving me compliments and stuff, and he's like, oh, you could be like a model or something, and I'm like, trust me, I wasn't that good looking, but I guess he just liked my style or something, and apparently he had money and he worked with some company or something, but everything sounded a little bit fishy. But you see, I was really desperate and I had no money. So I decided to go with this guy. What a great idea. And like, I told this guy my whole situation and I can tell that he felt bad or that he wanted something from me. It was kind of hard to tell, but at the end of the day, what else was I supposed to do? I mean, at the time I probably had a lot better options than going with some strange guy that I just met at a casino because I lost all my money. But you know, some things just happen like that. So of course I kept going along with it. I went to this guy's place because I thought that I was gonna get an opportunity at modeling. Like me, a model, like come on guys. And I went there and we started playing video games. I was playing like one of the newest NHL games. I forget exactly what year this was, but I had a lot of fun doing that. And we ended up leaving and it was morning at this point cause I stayed up all night playing poker and losing. And now we were driving somewhere and I wasn't really sure where he was going. I was kind of afraid at this point, like this is where my life ends, but it didn't. And we kept going and we went to this place and there was like boats and stuff. And actually, apparently he had his own boat. So he took me on like a speedboat and it must have been pretty expensive. Like I was so scared because I'd never been on a boat before. And like this boat apparently went really fast. And it was really scary. Like we drove around for a bit and like, it was actually really fun. I thought the guy was just a cool and just trying to be my friend or something. Yeah, he was trying to be my friend. All right. 
like on the boat, I was just screaming like a little girl. Now I would give you an example, but I have neighbors, so I'm not gonna scream like a girl or they'll be like, who just died in the other room? <laughs> Which wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> and well, that was actually pretty fun. And then we ended up driving back to the city where we went to this bar. And now I wasn't sure what this bar was, but it looked kind of strange. And there was a guy with no shirt on outside of it, which should have been a sign. But I said, hey, I'm 18 and dumb. I might as well go in here. And I walked in with him up the stairs and yeah, it was a gay bar. And buddy took me in there. He was getting me drinks and stuff. And like there's like gay porn playing on the wall and I'm just like, uh, this is not what I signed up for. But I was also piss broke and I didn't know what else to do. And like, I wasn't sure, did this guy think I was gay or something? Did I give off those vibes? Like I didn't mean to, but apparently I did. And that was a circumstance I was in. But we didn't stay there for very long. And I was dead tired at this point. I'm like, I need to go somewhere and sleep or something. So yeah, buddy ended up taking me somewhere. I know that sounds kind of creepy, but that's just what happened. We got a room at like this like hotel type room thing. And like we were both in the bed together, which was kind of awkward because I realized at this point that he was probably gay. You'd think I would have clued in, but it took me a while. But the gay porn part started really making me think that this situation was a little fishy. And like, there was a hot tub in this room and Buddy was like inviting me into the hot tub and I was just like, no, I just wanna sleep, no thanks, no thanks. And I ended up falling asleep for like six hours, but then he ended up waking me up because he only got the room for six hours and we left there. And like at this point, Buddy was like, oh, I got this thing to go to. I'll give you my number. I kind of got to go. And then he dropped me off somewhere with no money or no plans at all. And he was basically at like good riddance. And like so much for the opportunities. I thought this guy was really rich and I could make some money out of this. I could be like uh, the next fancy model even though I don't look like a model at all and clearly he was just saying that because he thought I was gay and he thought he had a chance but no he didn't and then after this whole situation I was basically homeless on the streets of Montreal which is not a fun place to be homeless I ended up getting lost a few times I slept outside while it was raining and that was just the moment I was like, I made a huge mistake. You think after all the other things happened, I would have said that, but it wasn't till the moment that I was sleeping in the rain that I realized that this wasn't a good idea. So I ended up contacting my family and telling them, look, I'm stuck here. I need some help getting back. I need a place to stay and all that stuff. And luckily enough, I have a caring family that they took me back home and that whole circumstance was done. And till today, I am not a professional poker player. I thought I would be, but nope, apparently not. Anyways, guys, I hope that story wasn't too long. If you found it entertaining at all, be sure to leave a like, maybe? Also, I'll have lots of helpful videos in the links below. So if you wanna watch another video, you can. It really helps me get more watch time and become super famous. <laughs> and until next time, your friendly neighborhood bad outros. Out of here. <laughs>
is way too bright, isn't it? 